It's important to expect clarity on policy issues from politicians and political parties. This is especially true in the run-up to an election. But when it comes to Thomas Mulcair and the new Democratic Party's stance on cannabis, a clear policy position cannot be found. It's very easy to identify where the Liberals and Conservatives stand on the issue. Trudeau has called for cannabis legalization multiple times, and the reform is part of the party's platform should they be elected this October. Conversely, Harper and the Conservatives are completely opposed to positive cannabis law reform. So what is the NDP's stance on cannabis? When the party was led by the late Jack Layton, the NDP had a clear position of decriminalization. But it doesn't seem like Thomas Mulcair is as comfortable with this stance. In March 2012, Mulcair called decriminalization a mistake because the strength of today's cannabis can, quote, cause mental illness. A few days later, NDP spokesperson George Soule backtracked the statement, saying Mulcair was referring to legalization and that the NDP doesn't believe anyone should go to jail for using cannabis. Then last year, at the annual Canadian Medical Association meeting, Mulcair reiterated that for four decades, the NDP has believed that it makes no sense at all for a person to have a criminal record for possession or personal use of a small amount of marijuana. Still, Mulcair wouldn't say that he specifically supports decriminalization. He was also sure to display his reluctance, saying there are a lot of complex issues, including supply, that have to be looked at in a lot more detailed fashion. There is still a fair amount of hard work to be done to be able to get to solutions. Mulcair also repeated the tired claim that today's weed is more dangerous than it used to be. Quote, when I was a student, it was part of the culture, but what we were smoking back then was about as strong as oregano compared to what's on the market today. Because there is a federal election October 19th, I recently contacted the NDP to clarify the party's stance on cannabis and ask them to consider cannabis legalization. The reply I received from the office of Thomas Mulcair did not elucidate the NDP's cannabis policy, but merely showed how far behind the public they are on this topic. First, the statement was quick to criticize the conservative approach. Quote, It's undeniably clear that the conservatives' war on drugs isn't working. Criminalization is not the right approach. The Harper conservatives are promising more of the same costly and counterproductive policies. That's why new Democrats continue to focus on harm reduction rather than criminalization. But even after bashing the conservatives in prohibition, the reply laid out proposals that might have seemed progressive 10 years ago. Quote, the NDP will continue to support research to investigate potential medical benefits of marijuana, a public health approach focused on education and where necessary treatment and harm reduction, and an independent commission that will consult Canadians on all aspects of the non-medical use of marijuana and will recommend possible regulations for its use to Parliament. The NDP did not provide a firm stance on cannabis reform. Instead, they say that more research and education are needed and call for a commission to study cannabis. Perhaps the NDP missed the Ladane Report commissioned by the Canadian government in 1970 that called for cannabis law reform, or the countless other reports by governments and organizations that call for cannabis legalization. Saying that the NDP will not focus on criminalization is too vague. Under Mulcair, will people get harassed and ticketed by police for possessing cannabis, like has been proposed by the Conservatives? What will the NDP do about federally illegal dispensaries popping up throughout Canada? These are just some of the unanswered questions that need to be addressed. When at least 70% of Canadians support cannabis law reform, it's no longer politically damaging to do the right thing. Thomas Mulcair and the NDP need to make their position on cannabis clear. It's one of the issues splitting left-leaning voters between the Liberals and NDP. I would like to vote strategically to oust the Harper Conservatives, but I can't fully support a party that is so coy about cannabis.